<laughs> oh my gosh, I love this so much, dude. Holy cow. Today, we're building we are building. Yes, yes, we I'm are here. building a gaming PC for Ooh. the theater upstairs. It's gonna be great! Dude, look at this thing! We got all this stuff, uh, so here's the case. We got the graphics card, the motherboard over there, the power supply. Holy we're going cow, to be man. building this, putting it upstairs, and playing Minecraft, playing games on Dude. 120 inches of projector. I'm so excited, bro. I am so excited, yo. Let's build Let's this do this. Theater. Step number one is to insert our motherboard. We are going to remove this plastic piece and insert Be very careful. this processor. Now we are securing the power supply on the back. This is the thing that's gonna power the whole entire computer. Now it is time to put in our cooling device. We are putting in the brackets and everything for our H55 Hydro series water cooling for the CPU. So basically what this is going to do is when we're running really high games like VR, Minecraft of course, all that stuff, we are basically going to be able to cool our processor and overclock it to perform better if we wanted to. All right, so next we got the behemoth. This is the thing that's gonna power all the graphics, all the VR, all the crazy games. This is a 1080 F Tub, F -T -W, F -T -W, I F -T -W, 1080 FTW, oh yeah, perfect, all right. Next, we got the memory going in. So, we got about eight gigs, or nope, sorry, 16 gigs, totally forgot what I ordered. <laughs> <laughs> nope, no, no, never mind, no, I was right, this is eight gigs. This is eight gigs, G-Skill, Trident Z RAM, um, at 2800 speed, so it is pretty fast. I'm pretty sure it goes this way as well. We put the water cooler upside down. The water cooler, this piece of RAM won't fit right here. When you build computers, you run into problems sometimes. Hold on, there's gotta be a way. There's no way they built this to where you can't fit a water cooler. Oh, hang on, bottom's on, top is on, we're good. Wow, that is a tight squeeze. Yep, that's all in. There we go. Look at that! Look how close that is. That is a really tight squeeze. That's the water. That's there. the water cooling lines right there. Wow. <laughs> Computer itself, all the components are in. All we gotta do is just uh, wire everything. So let's do that. I really don't want to break anything. All right, this is the biggest wire of them all. It's a 24 pins. Um, this powers pretty much the whole entire motherboard. This little guy coming up over here, over the hill, is uh, the CPU power right here. This powers the CPU, the processor of the computer. How many, users, how many people does it take to just screw on a case panel? And oh it's not gosh. because of the cable management. The cable management is really sleek. We tucked it all in. Jeez, I hope the front isn't this hard too. Wow, I cannot get this on. It's, it's the case. This proves that it's the case. It's literally so hard to thread these screws. Because what you have to do is you have to thread the screw through here. I know it's kind of blurry. You have to thread the screw through here. Then you have to thread it through the second part. It's a beautiful case. Don't get me wrong, but just the... Jeez, these things should be easy to. Oh wait, there we go. Oh no, no. Okay, NZXT, you're great. I'm just, I'm just kidding. I just didn't put the door on right. That's why I was having issues. All right, there we go. Everything is on. Now for the last, most satisfying part. Oh, there's one on the inside. <laughs> there's one on the inside. That means we gotta take it back off, bro. Jeez. Oh my gosh. Are you serious? Oh. And the final screw, make sure it's tight. There we go. Computer is done. It is fully done. Let me show you guys, look at this thing. I know there's a lot of blur and stuff, but the computer is done. Oh, it's beautiful. 
Let's go put it upstairs. This PC is surprisingly light. Thing's probably only like 20 or 30 pounds. We're going upstairs right now. Time to put it in the theater. Oh, hey, Simba. Want a new computer? So, this is where the computer is gonna sit. I might actually put it out here, like if we got a ledge for it, and like set it out here in front of the theater. But I don't know if the cords are gonna be long enough because we need to buy more HDMI cords that are longer. For now, it will just have to sit in here. Let me turn all this stuff on. I know there's cords everywhere. We got an HTC or yeah, HTC vibe just chilling right here. This is what we're gonna use on this computer. But let's try to turn everything on and get this thing hooked up. Got my trusty power cord right here. Here we go. And this is the moment of truth, by the way. We have not even tried to turn this thing on yet. I hope it works. So, <laughs> yeah, I hope it works too. Otherwise, we're gonna have to go back downstairs and take it apart. We got one thing on. I don't see any lights on yet. That's not good. It might just be the back of the case. Oh! oh! There it is! Oh snap, yo, so look at this. It is alive. Look at that, that's so clean. Wow, that's nice. Okay, so now we're gonna try to plug it in and just see, because first what we need to do is this computer doesn't even have an operating system on it. <laughs> so it doesn't even have Windows. It doesn't Mac, even know what we're doing. It doesn't have anything on it. It's completely dead. So we have to install Windows, we have to install all the drivers. We literally have to install drivers to connect to the internet everything. everything. So we're gonna go do that. I can't even I can't even plug the HDMI to the graphics card yet because because we don't have graphics card drivers, so <laughs> we can't even use the graphics card yet. So we have it plugged in. We're gonna see if anything comes up on the projector. So if we turn on this projector right here. If I did everything Go. right, something should come up right here. So uh, how was breakfast? Breakfast was good, man. Um, yeah, that's good. I like the chicken sandwich I had. It was good. Is the, oh, is the TV on? Hold on. It's warming up. It's warming up. I'm sorry. We didn't know you were cold. We should give it a jacket. I don't know if it's working. <laughs> <laughs> I, actually, I actually don't think it's working. It should be on by now. Here's what we do. We're going to go troubleshoot. We're going to go downstairs, plug this thing into a normal monitor, install all the drivers, windows. I'm not going to show you guys that because that's pretty boring. That takes probably about an hour to two hours to do. But we're going to go do that and then we'll be... Wait. Who's actually... Oh, there's a picture. <gasps> oh, no. no, it's just blue. Oh, are you sure? It's just blue. Hold on. It's warming something up. <laughs> Look at the dog. Wait, no. Is it just a blue screen? Okay, if yeah. it's just a blue screen, then there's something wrong. So oh. we gotta... <laughs> blue screen means there's no signal, which means something's going on. So we're going to turn this thing off. We're going to bring it downstairs and dissect it and do all that. Oh! It is alive! Got an image! It is alive. So I figured out what the problem was. The RAM was plugged in all the way. Yep. I thought it was plugged in, but this is how we're going to install Windows with a disk drive just sitting right here. The graphics card isn't plugged in right now because I took that out because I thought that was the problem. The graphics card maybe was dead. I mean, it lit up. I, I don't know. I just literally replugged everything in the computer. Now it works. So now we have to install Windows, which is our operating system. Then we have to install all our drivers and all our games. So I'm going to go do that. So I think we have everything together. I'm just trying to figure out how to work this keyboard. So as you can see, we got windows up the computer is in there running it is oh my gosh hold on let me recline back here let's um wonder if the mouse works oh, does it the work mouse works, look. oh okay so the mouse works everything works so now we have to install the drivers <laughs> at least at least we have windows though uh, yeah we have windows we have windows we have that's working everything's working so first thing to do is download google chrome because this is terrible <laughs> so let's uh do that we're downloading minecraft right now hey it's lit the cat Yo, is just cat. completely asleep. Oh, Simon, you're so cute. You ready to play some Minecraft with us? So, Minecraft is up. Now, we do have one problem, though. And I haven't tried troubleshooting this, so I have no idea. It could be an easy fix. It could be a bad fix. But you can see right here that the graphics card is not plugged in. Now, the problem is, is whenever I plug in the graphics card, the whole computer just turns off, which is really weird. I've never seen that before. I've built, like, six different computers in my life, and I've always like when building a computer I plug in the graphics card then I plug in the HDMI or DVI or display port whatever into the graphics card and then turn it on then install Windows this computer I had to take out the graphics card to install Windows because for some reason every time the graphics card is plugged in it's just dead and yes it's fully connected I've checked that four different
different times. I'm gonna have to do some troubleshooting, but as of right now, we do not have a graphics card. We have graphics, which is fine because, you know, Intel has their integrated graphics, but it's not the best, but it can run Minecraft for the most part. So we should be good, but Simon, look Your at Simon's you. Simon's so tired. Oh my gosh, you are so adorable. Just, dude, he's just loving he's life. He's he is chilling, just loving him. life. Look at his little paws. Wow, I'm he's jealous. You know, that looks really comfy right now. You're not, you're not swapping places. I'm not, I'm not gonna give you a head rub to sleep. Only Simon. Sorry. <laughs> Simba, look at you. I was going downstairs to grab some stuff and you are just, oh, you are so adorable. You are, oh, look at that stretch. Look at that stretch, you beautiful little kid. <laughs> You're so fluffy, oh my gosh. So, Minecraft is currently downloading, it's downloading all this stuff. We're gonna try Minecraft, because Minecraft should be able to run perfectly fine until we figure out what's wrong with the GPU. But, check this out. I got this chill setup right here. This is like a wooden kind of board. Set the keyboard right here. Got the mouse right here, and then the screen. Dude, I'm this is so out, nice. It's, it's insane. You can literally lay back, chill. You can even have food here if you wanted to. Oh yeah, anything. And you can literally just chill and play Minecraft right there. Yeah. That's so. What I'm thinking, once we get this computer like fully back together, um, I'm thinking we should put the computer out front. That'd be cool. So like, imagine the computer sitting right there. I think that'd be really cool. Instead of tucked away in the closet, because that thing is oh, pretty okay. cool to look at. The game crashed. What? Oh, I think we gotta install Java. <laughs> How can we forget Java? <laughs> All right, all right. I know we've done a lot of troubleshooting in this video, but we fixed it. So the GPU is plugged in. It's working. It's functional. There's nothing wrong with the computer. The problem was is this motherboard has an option where the PCI slot is disabled. And the PCI slot is the slot where the graphics card goes. So every time I would plug in the graphics card, the, the slot itself was disabled. So yeah. usually motherboards never do that because that's kind of a weird feature. But I figured some, I mean, I, I don't know. It's really dumb. Um, but yeah, when you're building computers, you troubleshoot a lot with a lot of different things. So yeah, but we're installing the graphics drivers right now. So we should be able to play some games and test this thing out. So, oh, what is it doing? Oh, oh. Oh, look how clean those graphics are. That's so much better. We should be able to change it to like uh, 1080p or something. Wait for this thing to get yeah, done. Yeah, wait for it to finish. Yeah. Look at this resolution. Hold on. Let me zoom in. Zoom, 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 zoom. Look at this. Oh, is this about to be 4K? Hold on. Or did I just break it? Oh, is this 4K? It looks so much sharper. Wow. Okay, what are the hertz on this though? 60 hertz? Oh, come on. Okay, what do you expect? I mean, it's not the greatest projector in the world, but oh my gosh. It is a 4K projector though, so we have 4K graphics right now. Wow. It's hard to see it, you know, on this camera. But, but like in person? Yeah, that is a 4K projector. If you look under there, right about there, it says 4K. So I have given oh. Shark the keyboard and the mouse. We got Minecraft up on the screen. I'm going to dim the light lights though this is so sick what is life here we are oh are you on the squad we're going on the squad mc bro oh no guys definitely be sure to leave a like if we should do more videos like this with other games maybe even what if i just recorded videos up here that's not a bad no. idea Yo, this is sick! <laughs> We're playing Minecraft right now on, on a 120 inch projector. Oh snap. Yo, what should we play? Uh Action Skyblock first. And then the new game mode's coming soon. This is sick. So guys, let me know what you think in the comment section below about this. And also let me know what kind of games I should play. Because I'm gonna do Oh, those sounds are incredible. So <laughs> I'm gonna do a part two to this where um basically we play a lot more games and we bring out the VR as well. So let me know what VR games I should play or let me know anything in the comment section below. But let me explain what we got going on here. So we have the projector, obviously. This is not, this is just the screen of the projector. Oh, and then we have the projector up there. Hey, what, hey, you hey, good? Watch me get the first kill with this new computer. Oh! Oh, oh snap! Oh, oh no, what's that? Oh no, wait, oh no. Oh wait, hold up, hold up. It's, it's, it's... Ah! Get out of here! No, no, Nathan, I... Okay, this is a lot worse than I anticipated. Leave me alone! Leave me alone! Oh, I killed one guy, I got his head. Razor 2. Ah! 
Okay. No! All right. All right, Shaq. So let me explain to the audience what's going on. So we obviously have the projector right here. We have the computer hooked up to it. And then for this, this powers uh, pretty much some of the video. So the computer plugs into this. And this also powers all of the audio that you see right here. So let me show you guys what we got going on for speakers. So we have two big speakers. These are tower speakers right here on the side. This right here is a subwoofer. So you can see there's a giant speaker in there. This is the center channel speaker. And then we also have a speaker right there, a speaker right there, a speaker in the ceiling, another speaker in the ceiling, and then two speakers behind. So the amount of speakers that we have is insane. So when you're playing games, it's like the surround sound is just ridiculous because you have one, two, three, four, five, six speakers in front of you, two speakers in the ceiling, and then two speakers behind you. There's one of them right there. So dude, this is insane. Yo, another noob question. I press F3 and it's stuck on F3. Oh, what? Yeah, it's like flash. Here, press, oh, there you go. Try oh. it. Oh. There you go. For some reason, this keyboard's really weird. Whenever you press F3 on it, it like disconnects from the computer. So I guess F3, if, whenever you press F3, that's like the, uh, that's like how you connect the keyboard to the, to the computer. Because yeah. both of this, this keyboard and the mouse is wireless. So that's awesome. The fact that it's wireless so you can take and sit anywhere. You know, you can sit all the way over there if you wanted to, whatever you want to do. This is so crazy, dude. Listen, just listen to the sound. Dude, the sounds are so cool. When you had a firework go off, it it uh, did the top speakers. So try to do a try to do a firework again. I don't know how you did it. Yeah. Uh, here, I'll watch. I'll just scare you. Ready? Oh! Oh my gosh! You're the sub. Do it again. The entire. Like, I don't know how well you guys can hear that on camera, but literally the walls are shaking. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Yo, imagine playing like Call of Duty or something on here. That's an amazing idea. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Well, guys, I'm gonna wrap up the video here because we're about to head off to dinner and stuff. But this computer has been incredible. I mean, it took us in total about five, what, five hours to build it? Probably about We five started hours. at about one o'clock. It's yeah, six o'clock now. now. So it took us about five hours okay. to build it, install the drivers, do everything that we needed to do. So yeah, it was incredible. But I'm gonna make a part two to this. Definitely gonna make a part two to this where maybe I play Call of Duty, VR games. Let me know in the comment section below what I should play on this crazy crazy, crazy computer. And we're also going to do some performance tests as well and see what this computer can really handle. Maybe do some Call of Duty, make the graphics extreme, see how well it can handle, see how much FPS we're getting and stuff like that. So anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. Hopefully you have enjoyed. Let me know in the comment section below what kind of games we should play and I'll make another video on this just in a couple days um, about the games and stuff like that. So Shark, do you have anything before we leave this beautiful audience? Dude, I don't, I don't want to go to dinner tonight. I want to stay here and play this. This is so much fun. I know. This is oh seriously gosh, the greatest trash. thing ever. A massive theater room Dude, with a gaming computer set up in it. This is so dope! <laughs> oh my gosh, I love this so much. Dude, holy cow. This is this awesome. awesome. Well, guys, thank you all so much for watching. Let me know in the comment section below also what you think of this incredible setup and would you like to have this as your gaming setup. So thank you guys for watching and I'll catch you guys in a couple days in a brand new vlog. <laughs>